Woo! Welcome in to another movie commentary. It is so good to have you here. And this is, of course, the much anticipated commentary for The Kissing Booth 2. While this video has been much anticipated by you guys because I did watch the first one, we need to take it back to the first one because I don't think you guys really understand the true magnitude of the situation. June 16th, 2018. Watching The Kissing Booth because I don't love myself. This video I have so many fond memories for because this is what started the Circle movie commentary on my channel. And nowadays there is an abundance of people with movie commentaries and they're in circles bouncing around the screen just like me. This video, watching The Kissing Booth because I don't love myself, is the very birth of that. And I am so proud, not only of myself, but of you and our community. We built this up. So, with all of that said, it is time for us to watch The Kissing Booth 2. Oh, yeah, yeah, here it is. <laughs> I'm so glad to be here with you guys. Let's have a good time. Oh, shit. <laughs> Matt, it hit me a couple weeks ago. I was like, did the, did the last movie end with her just riding off on a motorcycle into the sunset? Yes, it did, and here it is picking up where it left where off. where we left off, I'm guessing you might. A whole lot of stuff happened. Played board games till three in the morning. Watched a gorgeous sunset. Watched Noah sleep. Started working on my college essay. Started a podcast about video games with Lee. Watched 80s movies with Lee and Rachel. Applied for a passport. Applied for a credit card. Wow, th th this whole beginning is so frantic. She's like, I watched movies. Uh, he fell in love. Uh, he's gone. I applied to college. I started a podcast. Blah, blah, blah. It's a like chill, chill, chill movie. Like, slow down. We have two hours and ten minutes. You don't have to stuff it all in my face at once. That's what she said. Rule number 19. Always go to the same school as your bestie. Look at those graphics. Man, the first movie could never. Ready for my first day of school. Oh, so she's a senior. This is her senior? No, she applied to college. You don't apply to college junior year, do you? I don't know. I went to some shit college. My- You wanna hear a funny story? The college that I went to closed. Forever. It went out of business. I don't know anything about college. <laughs> it was a for-profit school. We're not gonna get into it. <laughs> I laugh in weird ways, but he laughed like a chimpanzee. Listen. <laughs> Do it, y'all. <laughs> that was so cringe. I gotta set myself in ready for the cringe. I hate rear view mirror shots. I just hate them. Oh. What? It's like he's dancing with his head. I'm just thinking about how insanely lucky I am. Yeah, you're a rich white kid. Like in terms of privilege, it doesn't get better than that. <laughs> hey, Tuffin. Just heard about Ah! This is the guy from the first one! This is the sexual assaulter! Tuppin! She called him Tuppin! Imagine having a baby and being like, Hey, you I'ma call this thing Tuppin. I'ma make everyone else call him that too. We forgot about the presentation for the kissing booth! Oh my god. Get busy! Right. That's all take. You know what I don't like about this movie so far? Is that the first movie was so successful and all the actors are so much more committed to the cringe. Like in the first movie, they're like a little bit hesitant because they understand how cringy everything is, but then they got so much praise for it. They're like, you know what? I'll lean into being cringy and I'm not gonna feel weird about it. And I don't like that confidence that they have. Oh, I'm so sorry to interrupt. Al Evans is your father. Is that a, her? Is that her real voice? Uh, the phone's over there, honey. Okay. <laughs> Everybody in favor of Dance Club doing a kissing booth this year for the fundraiser. Aye. Aye. All those against, say nay. <laughs> nay. Wait, no, I don't actually know why I just said that. What's the joke? What's the joke there? He accidentally nayed his own proposal and was like, "Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that." Uh, that where's the humor? Can you point it point it out to me? Is it because he's got a sucker in his mouth? Is that is that funny? Because he's like. Saying it and he's got a sucker in his- What is the- Maybe you can come to school here. I'd like that. Alright. I'm taking my pants off. Not in a weird way. It's just- It's getting hot in here. I couldn't help but think about rule number 19. Dog, you already broke your dumbass rules last movie. Dance Club? Oh, and I also have a podcast about video games. Oh. <laughs> I love how she has a gaming podcast and then they show her playing video games and it's Pac-Man. Dog, how out of touch are your writers? Like, mm, what do, what do gaming podcasts talk about? They talk about Call of Duty, Fortnite, like the popular games, Minecraft maybe? Nah, I think they're talking about Pac-Man. Pac I like the shot though. Not this one, this one here. 
That's good. That's creative. I wish they would have held that for longer because I kind of like the the idea of that. Top score is MVP. Well, somebody thinks highly of themselves. We are going to need slushies, churros, and an ass load of quarters. You see what I'm talking about? They're buying into the cringe. The actors are too comfortable. I don't like it. Oh, come on. How hot can this guy actually be? Whoa, sweet. This guy is a snack, indeed. He's gotta be intentionally running into people. How far are you away from the communications room? Ah, oh, no! No! This man... <laughs> If you watched my first Kissing Booth video, you know how I feel about this man. They added, they added some eyeliner to him. Was that in an attempt to make him look younger? Because last movie, he was a 35-year-old man who kept recording teenagers. Just, why are you here? Why are you here? Why was he recording them? We don't know. Probably for some nefarious intent. <laughs> I think he's even got a skateboard. Those are like skateboarding wheels. How do you do, fellow kids? Stop being here. I literally described a hundred different ways Marco can get it. <laughs> you have a boyfriend, remember that? I take it you're the one from the intercom? I don't know. Get a girl has a nice ring to it. <laughs> His voice is too deep. He's 25. You got nominated for Homecoming King. What the hell put your name on the ballot? I did. <laughs> Who is she? Was she in the first one? Guys, yo, say hello to Al. Hi. Hello, boy. Hello, <laughs> you just literally shouted how thirsty you were for some other dude to the entire school, and you're gonna get jealous because one girl approaches a friend group of six guys, and you're dating one of those guys? Don't fucking start, dude. Don't you fucking start with me. Miles is phenomenal at volleyball. Oh, she's on time. What? Oh, thanks. Yeah! Can I actually just ball for that? What's happening? What is this school tournament shit? <laughs> so their strategy to win at tug of war was to take off their shirts. Because girls are pretty simple creatures. They see shirtless man, they lose all strength. Everyone know this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is this supposed to be like some sort of gay romance thing they're hinting at? <laughs> Dude just got smashed in the face with a ball. Hit in the face with balls. Gay rom- Okay, I, I'm seeing something here. Cause this guy was like, hey, we should choose this guy for our volleyball team. Cause he's got a crush on him. That makes sense. No. Son of a bitch. Any guesses on who keeps overthrowing their score? I bet it's not Marco. There's no way it's Marco. No way. Couldn't be. And there it was a way to make a boatload of money that could help cover the cost of school in Boston. Dog, what year is it? Guys, name one time in your life that you've ever seen a flyer for a tournament with a huge cash prize. <laughs> in 2020, this is the marketing tactic. $50,000, there's no way. For some dumbass dance game? Training starts tomorrow at 7 a.m. sharp. Wait. Training? This is so weird because some of these actors are like getting awards for their acting. But obviously in other things. Watch how this is acted. Just watch this whole thing. Really, we are pretty good at this, aren't we? Pretty good. We've had the top score for four years. Wait, training? Wait, training? Don't tell me we have to train. Ooh, this is perfect. We need a headliner for the booth. No. Everyone's obsessed with him. You promised the hottest kissers. <laughs> what kind of hot kid just hangs out in an arcade? And we were wondering if you'd be one of our kissers this year. No. Why no? I have my reasons. I don't want to just go around kissing a bunch of random people spreading coronavirus everywhere. Is that enough of a reason? Dog, who wants to just be like a sex object to be like, you paid money, I guess I got to kick. It's kind of like prostitution. It's like prostitution junior. It's like a gateway drug. Kissing booths are gateway drugs into prostitution. And these two are the pimps. I'll make you a deal. I'll play you any game here for it. You win, I do the booth. Any game. And now to set the trap. Any game except, except that one. But that one's- I said any game. Well, yeah, but that one's- I don't get it. Explain something to me. He's like, I'll play any game. And she's like, mm, I gotta try to convince him to play that game. 
He would have agreed to do it if you're just like that game right there. Why does she have to trick him into wanting to play that game? He already said he'd play any game. This is so oh. Ah! Okay, all right, fine. Your choice. Sweet. Wait, now it's his choice? I'll play you any game here for it. He said, I'll play you any game here. Any game. Why is it his choice? He said any game. It's that implies that it's their choice. What is going on in this world? She's gonna lose. Guarantee she loses. I put money on this shit. Oh, oh wait, what? <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. No, 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 no. I was supposed to hang out with Rachel tonight. Do we care? Do we care? Has she been explored in any way whatsoever? She looks like she's Look, Lee. 30. She's always inviting herself or just showing up. Rachel, I can't just, just tell her. Figure it. out your priorities, Lee. Do I care? I'm sitting here like, should I even listen to what she's saying? Because I don't care. Well, See you when you're back, yeah? Yep. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Uh, here we go. Montage. We got a little montage action. You know what's the worst part about this? Is that this is my favorite part of the movie so far. This little fun romantic montage. And also the opening montage too. Like these two being together is like the most fun. They've been together for one montage in the beginning and then one montage at the 40 minute mark. And then in between has been 35 minutes of new characters that I don't give a shit about. <laughs> Drop her. Watch him pull his arm back as she's leaning. Watch, watch. He <laughs> just let her fall. So good to see you. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. He's making this a little weird. Like, I get the reason for her jealousy here because watch the way that he looks at her. What he, the way he's holding her. That's more than a friendly hug. The kisses, I can understand. It's a cultural thing. Kiss, kiss, hug. And then looks, he just the look in his eye. He says, you look beautiful as he holds her. Sus. That's sus, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> what? His mouth got so big. <laughs> look at that mouth. <laughs> Have you seen the meme? I had the feeling that you were searching for the perfect answer to a lot of my questions. Mm. No, that we're less interested in meeting the person you think we want you to be? Be authentic, bitch, is what she's saying. Far more interested in getting to know the person you really are. Dummy. Don't get jealous. Don't get jealous. We know your man is faithful. If her boyfriend cheated, I will be shocked. There's no way, there's no way, there's no way, there's no way. She's checking his phone. She didn't even, she just said you wanna catch up. Don't read his text, don't read his text. What's going on? Yeah, she just read your text, my guy. I'm definitely not used to seeing you around all those college girls. All those college girls. He's got five dude friends and one girl friend. Oh, I told you, Chloe's just a friend. How did you know I meant her? Cause that's the only person you've seen him around. Then I believe you. Good. Okay, if this man cheated, I'm gonna lose all faith in all men. <laughs> and including me. I'll lose all faith in myself. I'm a royal guy. But maybe I'm not if he cheated. I don't know yet. We'll find out. <laughs> he looks more handsome in this movie. Can I say that? Team Noah or Team Marco? Choose your team. While you're choosing your team, let me take this moment to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll has loads and loads of anime and manga. And the beautiful thing is that they have simulcasting, which means that with a number of shows, the episodes are already subtitled and ready to watch one hour after they air in Japan. Now for anyone out there who thinks that anime is cringy, let me just remind you that you watch The Kissing Booth. So reserve your judgment. And if you're into teen romances like The Kissing Booth, I would recommend Your Lion April, which is about a talented piano player who gives up playing after his mother dies. There have been like four or five movies or shows that have made me cry in my life, and this was one of them. Head over to Crunchyroll to watch it. You can use my code, which is crunchyroll.com slash Dylan is in trouble. I'll leave a link for that in the description. And you get two weeks of premium for free. That means unlimited anime with no ads and professionally subtitled. If you're still social distancing and looking for new things to watch, Crunchyroll has heaps of shows and it updates frequently with their simulcasting. It's crunchyroll.com slash Dylan is in trouble to score that deal. And thank Thank you to Crunchyroll for sponsoring. I think you're good for me. Tell me something I don't know. No, no. The movie's trying to convince you. Mm -mm, I don't buy it. 
Dog, get to the kissing booth shit. I don't care about this dance tournament. No, no, no! She's gonna have to team up with Marco. No, no, no. I just saw this entire plot. Holy shit. <laughs> I just saw the whole thing. You know what would be good though? Is if he's faking this injury just so that he could drop out, spend more time with his girlfriend. That's an interesting subplot, but I don't think that's the case. Listen, Al, I'm so sorry about the competition. Marco. Wait, actually, you know who could totally replace me? Who? Oh, who could possibly replace you? I'm sorry, Vivian, sorry. Vivian, Vivian, please, 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 please. Rachel, <laughs> it's me, Lee. No. I really just needed to talk to you. I don't care. I am so... I needed to talk to you. And I couldn't do that to your face despite us literally being in the same class. But also I know your address and your phone number and we're dating. But I couldn't talk to you any other way besides on a public service announcement. I love you, Rachel. Oh, Elle always being around. Did you speak to her? Don't worry. I took care of everything. Sometimes there are things that get so stuck in your head that there's only one way to get them out. <laughs> but confronting them? Is that, was that the answer? Hey, I'm at the gym. Can I call you back? Um. No. Part of the reason I was so upset when I left Boston was because I found something in your room. Okay, what'd you find? He's like, oh shit, not my flashlight. Oh my god. Oh, he is faking the injury! Oh! Yes! Oh, I'm ex- that's awesome! Walking pretty well, aren't we? You mad? No. Oh, damn. She forgave him kind of fast. I know we were going to go as s'mores for the Halloween dance. A different idea for our Halloween costume that I wanted to run by you. Yeah. Right? Oh, my gosh. Should we do it? Obviously. Lynn's phone. Uh, hi. I think he went to a concert. I guess he left his phone here. <laughs> Who forgets their phone nowadays? Come on. And then also, who answers someone else's phone and says, this person's phone? Dog, are you a secretary? I think he went with Chloe. Oh, uh. <laughs> okay, this jealousy shit is not fun at all. I'm already over it. Besides, she's spending so much time with hunky Marco. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> you hungry? You guys gonna go on a little date? I don't know. I don't like making plans. I'm just kind of roll with things. What do you want to do? Okay, one thing I really like about this movie is like the locations that they're getting. This scene on a Ferris wheel, they're not like accentuating the Ferris wheel or doing anything crazy, but it's just, it, there's vibrance, you know? There's the neon colors. The dude, he was just at the gym before and they just had a conversation, you know? Like, he didn't need to be at the gym. He could have just been in his dorm. It makes it feel real, because he's like, hey, I'm at the gym, can I call you back? And she's like, no, I gotta talk now. That makes it feel like a real conversation that's about to happen. So I, I actually kind of really like that part of it. So these locations, the fact that they're, they're doing, they're going the extra mile for it. I like that part of it. I respect it. Look at this. That's just beautiful, right? So that's some good B-roll footage. You know what you want. You go after it. No. Wrong impression of me. I like I this. I like this a lot. If they kissed, I wouldn't be pissed. Just because I, right now I'm feeling the vibes. I'm feeling the chemistry. It feels like pressure. Actually, it is. Yeah. Tons of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> God, kiss. I'm cool with it. Guys, I'm not going to get pissed. Put your lips together. On the beach with the moon in the background, dog. If you had sex, I wouldn't be pissed. The bonfire in the background, the wind blowing through your hair. And you think he's involved with her? When he says he's not, it's funny because when he left, I kind of had to. This is the ultimate test for a man. The girl that you're into is telling you that her boyfriend might be cheating. You have two options. You can either try to push her to think that he is cheating so that she'll cheat on him with you, or you could be the gentleman and say, I highly doubt he's cheating. You need to have faith in him. It's like I'm trying so hard to hold on to this thing and it just feels like it's slipping away. What's your move, guy? What's your move? I don't know, Flynn, but if I found someone who I loved that was smart, funny, and liked the same stuff I liked, I'd never make her feel like that. He's the asshole. I thought he was gonna be like, I would hold on to that because I thought he was talking about her feelings for him. But he's like, I would never make you feel the way that he made you feel. You're an asshole. You can't really hold on to someone. All you can do is love them and make sure they know that you're never gonna slip away. Uh, okay, he's 
sending mixed messages now. I, I don't I don't know if I'm saying that right. No, you're saying it perfectly. You know, I, I, he made a lot of sense the second thing he said. Interesting. I don't know where Marco stands. But I've revoked his kiss pass. He cannot kiss her anymore. Although that is beautiful. Did he just whip- Where did he fucking pull that guitar from? I feel like he just pulled it from the sand. He just buries guitars on the beach. Just in case one day he's on a date, he just knows he can just reach down and dig it up out of the sand. And she's like, where did that guitar come from? I don't know how I feel about that shot. Let's watch it again. I really like it, but it... Mm. You know what? I think this shot is phenomenal. I don't think that it's good here because so many shots before have been set up to make him look like handsome and pretty, you know? Like someone's talking and it always cuts to him being like... Listening. And it's just like, why? Why are you trying to look sexy right now? I wish they kind of tried to make him look a little bit like non-desirable up to this point and then it flips. This is the flip switch. This is a beautiful shot. The lighting, the lighting on this is so good. <laughs> the cinematography, I like this. That's good. And then the music too. Ah, this whole sequence. All right, I'm getting more into this. Yeah, it was nice. We saw this pretty great band. Uh, it was great. Cool. Who'd you go with? Uh, who'd you go with? <laughs> predictable. He's gonna lie. Uh, just some of the guys. Yeah. <laughs> just predictable. It's almost like this is a Wattpad story. <laughs> Why are they tiptoeing around this gay romance? Just like get them together. It doesn't have to be awkward. You're making me feel awkward. Like it's like it's 2005 or something. And like, is that okay on television? Is that okay in a movie? Dog, it's totally okay. But the fact that they're setting it up like, oh, but they might be gay. Oh no. What's going on with you and Miles? What do you mean? There's nothing going on. Okay, sorry. Why are they making this weird? <laughs> You're such an asshole. Dog, you know she's been insecure about you spending so much time and being closer with your friend than her. And then you go and change your costume last minute to something your friend wanted to do, and then you don't tell her. That's such an asshole move. He's such a shitty boyfriend. Because she talked about it with him. I hate plot lines like this where, oh, my partner is cheating, so maybe I'll cheat. You know, but they'd like justify it because the other person is cheating. Oh, this is too, no, this is so wrong. <laughs> He's got his nose to her hair. He's sniffing her shampoo. That's too romantic, my guy. Don't do it. Guess she got over Flynn. You a little trifler. Mm. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't care enough about Marshmallow Girl here to like care about her struggles, but I'm trying to figure out if I'm siding with her or not. It's like, you know he has this tight relationship with his friend, but there's nothing romantic going on between them. Let it slide. Understand that he has that relationship. But on his part, like to not tell her about the costume change thing and stuff, that's pretty messed up. Oh, I'm really, really sorry about the costume mix up. Very you know, you just couldn't do as you were asked, could you? You wasted all of Lee's time with your stupid dance game. With you around, I literally can't spend a moment alone with my own boyfriend. I'm leaving now and I'm going to my house. Can you go to your house and then stay there for the rest of the movie and not come back? They've been best friends for life. You don't have to be like, oh, I've just been crazy busy. That's some excuse you tell someone that you barely know. Like, oh, crazy busy, can't talk. You've been friends for life. Fuck out of here. I hate this ambiguity. Are they broken up and dating other people? I don't know what's going on at all. Oh, I like this. It's very spunky. I like the split screen stuff they were doing before too. I do like some of these decisions that they're making. Look at me. Just let go. Feel the music. Ooh. Just let go. Ooh. Okay. Morning, let me see some more of that. Just let go. Ooh. I'm less interested in meeting the person you think we want you to be. Hell yeah! But the music choice, the camera work, the, the phrases that she was hearing, all of it works really well. It's just like this really romantic moment and then you just hear one guy punching the punching bag. Punches the thing. Why? Oh. She was untied.
That's not a terrible callback, but it doesn't work here at all. See you tomorrow. That would have been perfect if, like, right before they start their routine and she's all nervous, he was like, hey, shoes untied. And that's what got her to unwind. That's where you use that line. You busted prematurely. As a notorious premature buster, I know what I'm talking about. Oh, it's a lot of people to watch. <laughs> They're really trying to convince me that people really care this much about a dancing game. Dog, no one cares. No one cares about this dancing game. And it makes me feel like the writer's so out of touch that they think like an arcade and Pac-Man are what's hot in a dancing game. No one gives a who's, I haven't seen anybody playing a dancing game in 10 years. What the hell? You've been blowing your friend off for weeks. Fuck you. There's no justification for any characters to do any of the things that they are doing. This movie sucks so hard with character motivations. No one should be doing anything that they're doing. Just have fun. Hey, shoes inside. Boom. That would be so good here. Just have fun. That doesn't have the same impact. You busted prematurely. He's like oh, he's there. I don't think she knows he's there. She's gonna kiss him. I bet she kisses him at the end of this. Okay, okay, okay. That was pretty sick. Why wouldn't he even go to his friend's thing? Why is he watching the live stream of it? God, he's such an asshole friend. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. No, 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 she tilted her head back. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, right here, right here, right here. Oh! She's such a trifler. She's such a little trifler. Interactive media and video games. Oh, 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 yeah, you saw that trifle firsthand, didn't you? <laughs> Dog, I want to see Marco and Noah just fight it out for her. Just f a physical fight. I, I'm sorry, look, I can't, I just can't deal with this right now. Please. How shitty is it for him? Because she went the whole 100 to kiss him. And then now she makes him feel like shit. For her doing that. Why are you mad? Uh, I don't know. Maybe the answer is in here. Oh, I don't know. Maybe the fact that you haven't spoken to me in a month, you ass. He fucking ditched her for a whole ass month. And he's mad at her. Because she was thinking about leaving him behind. I... I need to pull it back. Because I'm getting heated about this fictional fucking Wattpad story. It's the second one, too. I assume there's three. Because it's always a trilogy. And the second one is always the dumbest because they always introduce a new love interest that never ends up with the girl. And then the third one is the happiness between the main character and her first love interest and them getting married or some shit. Good to find you. Oh, he brought her home! So, Chloe, I hear Boston sucks. <laughs> I'm not really sure how to answer that. You shouldn't lie about it. Lying. Lying is an interesting topic of conversation. Mm, that's not witty enough. He goes to Harvard. He should be wittier. I was expecting some like really cool repertoire. Rep, 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 repartee. Repartee. That's not right. Repartee. That. Are you sure, Googs? I was expecting some really cool banter because they're both pissed at her for different reasons and they're brothers and like even the way they're seated is interesting. But he's like, hmm. Lying. What an interesting concept. Dog. So you're just gonna pretend that Lee never told you that we needed space from you constantly hanging around us? Lee never told her that he said that. He just said he took care of it. God, this girl is the worst. Why did he need a girlfriend? You could have just kept him single. Break up with her. Right here. Do it. I tried to, but... Rachel. 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 Rachel, please. I don't care! You lied to me! No, he didn't. He said he took care of it. It was a, it was like a loophole. But you don't have to break up with me. Please do, though. I can't be in a relationship with you and Elle anymore. It's just too much. Well, then fuck you. Yeah, you can leave. Are you the one driving the Beetle? The Yellow Beetle? Because you can go in that car. I'm thankful for my family. For that I- She has a brother?! God, I am super duper thankful. I found Chloe's earring. Cringe. Under Noah's bed. Cringe. Cringe. Not at Thanksgiving, dog. Dog, Thanksgiving is a sacred day. Sacred day. It's a sacred day. You watch football, you eat turkey, you have peace in the household. Okay. It's There's a dark history behind Thanksgiving. I know it. But I choose to believe that the pilgrims and the colonizers got together and played football and ate some turkey. 
That's the history that I want to believe. That's a joke. Don't deny actual history. But still, you cannot throw this out there during Thanksgiving. If I was her dad, I would be like, sit the fuck down, enjoy your turkey, eat some yams, and close your mouth. <laughs> they have an indoor pool. Fuck you. Fuck these people, man. I know this house is over 35 mil. Look at this view, man. Those are mountains in the background, indoor pool. What the fuck is this shit on the wall? They have vases above the pool. Who hangs vases on a wall, rich people? Where are you going? I don't think that dad can act. Rule number 16. When your bestie needs you there, you need to be there for your bestie. <laughs> that seems like it should be rule one or two. When you were out of town for a football game, I crashed at your place after getting into a fight with Jason. Very must have just fallen off then. Why wouldn't you just say that at the table? Because now that you've had time away, it sounds like you could just come up and concoct a story. No. I'll look at that view. I'm so pissed at you, rich people. I don't care about him anymore. I really liked him in the first one. He's just pissing me off here. I guess the real reason I didn't tell you is because I didn't want to. I just always want you around. Maybe you should date her. Pretended to hurt myself so that you'd be busy practicing with Marco. Yo, where's this kissing booth? Are we watching Dance Dance 2 or Kissing Booth 2? Because I have seen so much dancing in a dancing tournament. I, let me see a kissing tournament. How about we end the movie like that? It's a fucking tournament for kissing. Grand prize wins this girl's heart. Although she kind of sucks. Everybody kind of sucks. Rule number five. Always do the Thanksgiving wishbone with your bestie. Okay. Why is that rule five? Rule 16 is always be there for your bestie. Rule five is always do the Thanksgiving wishbone. That's so specific. That needs to be like rule 77. I bet your rule number one is like, if you see a rainbow while you're on vacation in Cambodia, you must text your bestie. Like that's so specific. That needs to be way down. Oh my God. I'm still thinking about that Marco shot on the beach. That was such a good shot. What'd you say? I said ah, yes! You have no business talking to me. No, the only problem I have right now is you. <laughs> She's just watching. She wants it. She wants them to fight for him. I hate that shot. Noah. That was the, ah, oh, that I hate. I hate that. Tension's rising, his fist is getting more tight, and then tension diffuses. He relaxes his fist. You could have shown that in way more cool ways. This movie's too creative at times to do some bullshit like that. Why is everyone watching in anticipation? This is a couple that everyone knows is getting back together. No one gives a shit. What if he's like, yo, you kiss so much better than my ex. <laughs> I am so sorry for ever making you feel like anything less than the most important person in my life. I feel like this is kind of on her. She's got to accept that you're friends with a girl and she's just got to deal with that. What's their relationship? Why is she coming home with him for Thanksgiving? Do you love her? I'm not talking to you about this in an airport. If you were at a museum, I might talk to you about it. A zoo? Maybe. Are you okay? Why is he... <laughs> Dog, I hate how these actors are 29. Do you have a ticket? Oh, they're gay? I had no idea. I'm accepted by society? <laughs> yes, it's okay to be gay. It's so okay. We felt something. You're the second movie guy. You got no shot. I feel a little bit bad for you. I do have feelings for you. But. When we kissed. My ovaries exploded. Goodbye, Marco. That's the biggest fuck you. He bought a ticket to the kissing booth to spend some time with you, confesses his feelings to you, and you're like, okay, well, how's a kiss on the cheek sound as I dump you? Wouldn't it be funny if he went to the kissing booth? <laughs> if she rushed to the airport and he rushed to the kissing booth? I really hope they do that. And they're, they FaceTime and they're like, what the fuck? Because that would be symbolic of their long distance relationship, like unable to connect. And then they, they meet in the middle. It's not him. It's not him, yep. Where's Noah? He left. He went looking for yes. you. Yes, nice. Do you know why he brought me home for Thanksgiving? He just wanted me there so that we could become friends. You brought another girl home with you on a holiday so that she could be better friends with your girlfriend, who's obviously jealous of you and that other girl, your relationship. And then you also don't tell your girlfriend that's why you're bringing her home. That's why she's there. <laughs> 
What did he say? <laughs> he said the kissing. I called that shit, didn't I? It's almost like I have the writing ability of a Wattpad writer. Oh God! When I started this school year, I wasn't really doing so well in my classes. Why didn't you say anything? I was embarrassed. Oh, cause you're dumb. <laughs> it's you, Noah. It's always been it's you. It's always been you. That that's fucking ripped from somewhere. I've heard that in movies before. Unless it's like an inside joke between them, and I just can't remember it from like the first movie. That's so bullshit. You can't just steal some other movie's ending, like some iconic phrase, and just use it as your own. Well, you can if you're a fanfic writer. <laughs> but maybe it's some inside joke that I didn't remember. But I doubt it. Because my memory is really good. <laughs> Th that whole plot line too is annoying. The I'm writing my college essay and I'm using that as narration for the story. That's been done to death. In five years, I want to be Rachel's kindness. I want to be Noah's courage. I'm telling you that I love you. Did she write that? I want to be Rachel's kindness, Noah's courage. And she just expected the college administrators to be like, oh, yeah, I watched the first kissing booth. I know who these people are. Don't, you're not moved. That's such a shitty essay. I hope she got rejected from all those colleges. I, I got waitlisted everywhere. Come on, bro. It's not worth it. You paid that actor to say that line. If he had said nothing, you pay that actor less. You went out of your way to pay someone more to make sure he said that line. She's not worth it. How dare she turn you down? You're Marco, the stallion. I've seen your dick in the locker room. It's huge. Yes, she is. Did she lie about being waitlisted? Accepted, yeah. Like she came clean with all of her friends, her boyfriend, her best friend, his best friend's girlfriend. She's like, I gotta stop lying. I gotta just address the issues head on and talk about it. And then she learns that valuable lesson only to then lie again to end the movie, just to put a little, little button on it. She got into Harvard. You know how hard it is to get into Harvard? She better have given 25K to Marco. Don't, don't you dare. Don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. Okay, thank God. Let's talk about this. This one was uh, more mature. I think it's the better film, but it was less fun to watch. That's, it's a little bit ironic, isn't it? There was a lot of fun things that the director tried and I feel like a lot of them worked. Let me know how you guys feel about it in the comment section. I wanna thank Crunchyroll again for sponsoring this video. Go to crunchyroll.com slash Dylan is in trouble. Get yourself two weeks free premium. And you know what? Two years later after making my first movie commentary, I wanna give a big thank you for making this series what it is today. You guys enjoying these videos makes me enjoy making them and just to see that it's like resonated with you guys and connected with you guys, it just means everything. So a big thank you is in order for you guys. Thank you so much. Love ya. Love ya. Hey you. You there, I love you. I'll see you next time. Toodles.